All right, so trip number one, well, real trip number one with the Jayco 199 MBS. So here we are at Moose Hillock. Get everything kind of set up here. Get everything going. Everything's been good so far. A couple of things I've noticed is that these stairs are a pain in the rear end. I have to constantly adjust them. I think from day one, they kind of had a little bit of an issue with them, but got them good. And uh, the door. The door's a little funky, can be a little bit warped um, at times. I think it depends on how you're leveled and uh, whatnot. But everything else has been good, but get everything set up here. Uh, thoughts on the Blackstone? Like it, don't love it. Um, I really actually wish that they kind of... Blackstone's great, but I, I almost think that uh, they should either give in a little bit bigger one with it that would fit in those holes, or giving in maybe just a, a gas a gas grill or something um it's good but i don't know i feel like it's temperamental i kind of had it down low and then turned it up and um even though my trail is level for some reason this fully isn't level um kind of have to i don't know my the oil leans down there i'm not really sure why but in any case here's everything we kind of have this little drawer thing in here that kind of slides out and then we'll get all the black sound stuff in there which is great um, that's kind of what we got at this little side table and we picked up this clothesline um just kind of it's like a bungee-ish it wasn't long enough so i had to go ahead and just add some rope to it but we have this here um but everything else is good hookup is good so far um we do have the cable hookup um i have not been able to get the cable on inside so i don't know if this this isn't working or if there's a switch that i'm not aware about that i'm supposed to turn on i did find the one behind the tv that i switch on but um i don't know i have to check it out or maybe they didn't connect something um but i got my connections here i ran my extension um i do have the bulldog um here surge protector um, i wasn't going to buy one but then i heard people getting outages so i decided to get one and so but yeah everything's good um i pulled it with a nissan armada uh, i'll be honest i think it was after we packed it i think it probably was a little bit heavier than i would have liked i think i was low riding a lot more than i i really wanted to and the armada already kind of rides low on the back but um it wasn't horrible um, but I feel like it was already kind of riding a little bit low, but it, it drove fine um, No issues moose hillock is kind of hilly So I kind of had to push it back it up up this little hill here, um, which wasn't bad, but I put in four-wheel drive Get the awning got these lights here picked up that you know clamshell This is a connecting site so you can walk you can walk across to your neighbor, which uh, my brother was over there Made some of these light up buckets, which is kind of nice and then um, made this bucket here. So, yeah, let me walk inside. Come on, Hold on, bud. So we get this mat. Come inside. I'll kind of show you. Okay, stay up. So, we have this down. We had it up earlier. Um, we're sitting it, but this morning we figured we'd leave it. So here we go have some of these lights here um, I bought this I don't know if anyone else wants to get the same thing or but um this really what was I just this sorry um, this here it just kind of reads the uh, temperature tells you what's going on in here I use this like as a, a shelf for stuff we bought these bins these bins are great so we have one bin there so basically we each have one for clothes. So that's like um, sweatpants, sweatshirts. And then my, my son has one, my other son has one. And then my daughter has one. I, my wife has one and I have one. So this, these are worked out great for storage up in here. Um, like I said, we, we bought these little like lantern lights. They kind of give a decoration inside here. Um, so that's it. We also bought this here, which is great. Put a fan there and store some stuff in here. Um, we did get a ladder 
it's down right now with this ladder for this bunk will attach here impressed with the fridge I tell you you can fit a lot of stuff in this fridge um, and it works great and then even this freezer you can fit quite a bit of stuff in this freezer which is great and now uh, what I've been doing is I've realized that outside um, I just put you know the stuff I'll use for you know, eggs bacon sausage stuff I want to cook more often out there in here nothing crazy we did buy this holder that attaches to the wall obviously we get the stove holder we purchased these these are microfiber uh, they're supposed to dry quicker so in the heat especially when we go down to Orlando they're supposed to dry quicker um, that's it we kind of put an air fresher up in there um, another thing that's really cool that we have let me turn this light off this other thing that we have is about this dehumidifier um, a lot of people recommended it. it keeps the humidity out especially when I run the AC if you can see there's already water up here and that's just one night so it definitely uh, you see it move in there but you know definitely does a, a good job but so far so good um, these work good this AC worked really good in fact you get down to like 64 degrees in here last night I ended up having to turn it off that's how cold it was but um, yeah so uh, you know make use of everything that we can under here we have certain things in here and trying to stay as organized as possible but yeah the pillows and everything going on um, units working really good here as well but um, yeah good amount of storage the kids that's right she's not liking the gecko that they found outside on her but um, yeah so far so good this worked great as well my wife used it uh, quite a few times it worked great we have not used the stove although i did light it just found out it's just easy to cook outside a couple of things to notice when i traveled twice so far um when i've traveled i've tried to use my plugs on my inside they've tripped um so both times that i've transported the vehicle for whatever reason they've tripped so if you go to use your plugs um and they're not working check your uh, your plug here um but yeah so far so good like i said these stairs I mean, from day one, I think they kind of hacked it. They had the wrong size, and they put the other size, and they got screw holes. But the screw holes now, because they've screwed into it multiple times underneath there, it's just it's funky. But I've noticed that if these steers, if one side is just slightly off level, these doors will scrape along the edge. You can kind of see it here. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's it. You know, dehumidifier, everything. Um, everything's worked so good so far, and it's just a, a shot outside. We've got the lights up there. That right there is a thermocell. So I bought like a little stake thing in the ground to kind of put it on. Um, these tables are great. They got like two cup holders in it. The chairs. I think we have we have two of those. I'm not really. Oh, there it is. There's the other one right there. And uh, yeah, yeah. So um, if your kids have scooters, I want to say Walmart or Job Lot. My wife found these scooter stands I am a robot. so you can put, uh, put them on these scooter stands and then yeah you know a little little portable What's table that we bought as well and uh yeah that's really it bought this to put underneath What's as well and then we go so i'll give an update as we go but that's it so far i don't know if i have any other complaints on it other than that door being a little wonky and the stairs being a little wonky um, setup is pretty easy. Um, if you are on a, ever on like a dirt site, so I have these pads here, but what I found is that because it rained a lot here, um, the pads actually started to like decompress on the ground. So I would suggest to, um, go ahead and level your vehicle and then probably like the next day, especially if it's been wet, check them because it actually sunk down a little bit and I had to readjust these legs a little bit and uh yeah that's it so far so good so um i'll keep you posted the other thing i find is that um you know up there if it rains water drips out the water kind of drips right down here so if you could have gone here water's dripping not the end of the world you can put something to extend it out the other thing i find is that the ac drips right here so same thing the ac will drip here and then you know come down you have the storage compartment so water's dripping here but 
I've seen people put like bottles or something on there to extend it out a little bit further. But um, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Everything's working the way it should so far and hopefully it goes that way.